They say an apple a day keeps the doctor away. But what if you could get into apple business to keep poverty away? Most of the apples consumed in Kenya are imported from Middle East and South Africa. With the invention of Wabogo apples, which is a locally bred seedling, we need not to import anymore. Let me take you on a journey to our new Wabogo apples farm located in Laikipia County, approximately 180 kilometers from the capital city, Nairobi. Laikipia County is a semi-arid area. We will first visit the nursery where the seedlings are grafted and later go to the farm where there are apple trees already producing fruits. This nursery contains about 10,000 grafted wabogo seedlings that are ready for market. My name is Catherine Wambogo. I'm the manager of Wambogo Apple Farm. It is in Nyeri, but uh, this is our second farm in Raikipia. I'm the one who manages Wambogo Apple, and uh, Wambogo is my father. He's a founder, so I'm now the manager to manage his work, and I help him for grafting and also planting and also marketing for it, and also other things involved in this one. So we are also doing some more researches on uh, how to bring this one up more better than it is. This is where journey starts for Wambogo apple and I want to demonstrate how to take care of it. And uh, we have different types of Wambogo apple. We have Wambogo 1, we have Wambogo 2 and Wambogo 3. Wambogo 1 is a red apple, the red staple apple, it's very red. Then we have the green and the pink, pink lady apple. So, so many people know about it. Eh? Then we have, uh, this one is uh, grafted. Our apples, we normally graft them. Our apples, the uh, rootstock is the one that's on the ground. We got it from Babadea's forest. And uh, then we got the Zion. Zion is the one you put on top. And then you graft with it, and then it give you something hybrid. So this one is a uh, rootstock and it's the same age with the now grafted plant. This is now a bogo apple, and this is the loose stock that we use to graft so that we are able to get the wabogo apple. So this one is already around four feet and has no flowering and nothing is going on. So you can tell the difference between this one and now the wabogo apple. So their leaves are a bit blown, but this one have a bit thin. So what we do, we join the two and uh, then we get the hybrid. This is Wambogo apple now. So as you can see, this is a, is a, is a grafted and hybrid. What we have on, on ground is the rootstock and this one is uh, the hybrid uh, that we have joined together. We normally use the fam, apple fam, fa, family, family rootstock for the sake of combining the two. So um, the top part is uh, now the hybrid and then it gives you the, the, the two when you join together is now hybrid and it's called wabogo apple so already this one has flowers and already fr started flowering and fruiting so whenever flowers come up with that after this one they are fruit so they are the same age with this one but this one is ordinary that will may take even 10 years to give you fruit but now it will give like two or three after 10 years Immediately after grafting, is something we call you, you discourage the rootstock coming up. It may tend to be very quick wherever you plant. So whenever you are planting, after planting like two weeks, you are supposed to check wherever the grafting is, wherever the joint is. Anything coming from here should be discouraged and let the top part grow. So that is where many people go wrong because they say that you sold me an apple and now it's not producing. Maybe you, you left it and the loose stock take over the 
wambogo apple on top. So you are supposed to remove all, all leaves or any branch coming down. Like I think, uh, yes, like this one. This one is grafted. As you can see this one, where this one is coming up the branch is under under the grafted part. So the, the graft, the Zion died after we failed to remove the, the branch from the rootstock. So it will definitely die. And now you, you might think that you have a Wambogo apple, but you don't have it since you didn't remove the, the branch under the grafted part. So as this case, we were supposed to remove this one like this and then you don't just cut it you're supposed to use some uh, pruning knife or a knife like this one so this is how it's supposed to be if you let something grow here then it will overtake the the hybrid plant and then you have spoiled the whole thing and then you lost your bogo apple so that one should be very careful when you're planting our plants our loose stock we don't do seeds there's no seed for apples in kenya we use roots are uh, plants that already have some roots like these ones all of them have roots so we take a short time after grafting so we don't have seeds we normally use and sell seed rings not seeds because seeds i don't think they are available in kenya and it may take many years before the seeds come out it may take like two years or one and a half years then you start grafting again so after you transplant here to the farm where we shall go to the farm you you see the, it's coming up well because here is very squeezed here is just a nursery it's very squeezed but when you take it to the farm it will be tend to be very quick on uh, coming up and it will come up so so well so after here we go to the farm where we make a hole that is two feet by two feet and then two feet deep and then so that uh, why we normally do two feet by two feet it's because of the roots penetrating easily this is our plant already has some soil on it so if i'm selling locally that is in kenya i will sell it like this but anything going out outside the country it is not accepted in uh, kenyan uh, agricultural laws so it's supposed to, you're supposed to remove all the all the soil and wash the the, the roots kenyan soil is not supposed to go outside the country and even other countries they don't accept other soils in their country. So what we do, uh, we remove the soil and then we wash the roots. Then we, we, we transplant them, we transfer them to, to other countries. We normally have a permit to do this, uh, certified, we call it kefis. We have, um, they have come and examined our, our nursery. Uh, it's, a, it's well standard. We normally have a um, permit to do that and they are satisfied. We are satisfied to do that. So wherever I am bringing these seedlings in your country without soil, so that is the case, but they don't die. I'll give um, some of the experiences we have that uh, we have tra transplanted and uh, trans transported them to other countries, like in Nigeria. We have done them in Botswana. We have done them in uh, Zimbabwe. And also we have done them in Israel. We have done them in Cameroon, Ghana. Uh, Tanzania, our neighboring, because this is East Africa. So like in uh, Nigeria, it's very hot, but they survive. They are, we have done in, um, in Enugul, that is in uh, East, Onicha in, on East. We have done Kaduna, Kanu, Bu, uh, that is Abuja, that is on North now. We have done them in Lagos. In Lagos, we touch on Ojota and um, Ikorodu. Uh, those who are in Nigeria, they know, and also at the part of Ogun State, we have the other people that we have uh, planted for them, even on Shun, or Shun State, that is Ikire, we have done them, them, and that place is very hot, but the apples are doing so well. We also have done them in Zimbabwe, that is in Goromonzi, and we have done them in uh, Brawayo, and also Harare, and they are doing quite good. We have few people there that have gone there and planted for them. In Botswana, we have Gaberon, we have um, Francis Town. So all of those have planted. We have also in Ghana, we have done in um, Accra. So people have planted there. In Cameroon, we have done it. In Tanzania, in Uganda, in Israel, in US, that is uh, uh, in Ohio's. 
they have come here and they have bought and we have planted for them. So, so many places. The advantage of Wabogo apple, they do well in all soils. They do well in sandy soil, in loam soils. The only thing that we are discouraged, they don't like swampy areas. So if you have place you are planting, you need to manage it well or make a, make a uh, telluses for the water drainage. So these one do well in all soils. Whether in loam soil, whether in sandy soil, this, this apple will do well. So wherever you are planting, make sure that you have manure, you have enough water, and you do regular watering. So that's why you hear places that are very cold, like in Kenya, some part of Kenya in Nyeri, in Limulu, they are very cold, but they, they, are, they are surviving. So even in your country, it's very possible, since most of the Kenya, the African, African countries, they rain like now and then, like uh, now we had rains the other week, and now, uh, yesterday we also had rains. So uh, places that you have more rains, you have more advantage on this. So that is uh, now a bogo apple and uh, that's how it happens. So anytime we are transplanting them, we have to treat them. We use some chemicals to, to treat the plants, the roots. We take care of the roots, we pack them well and then we, 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 uh, we, we take them to other countries. So that is how it ha happens and as I said, I think it's up now. Anything below the grafted part, you should discourage. Anything coming up uh, from here. Like here, you can see this joint already. Something was removed. And also here, because if you let this grow, or anything below here start shooting, then it will make your, 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 uh, your wambogo apple to, to die. So note on that. So I want to take this, this plant. Eh? This one is already flowering at this joint already has flowers and uh, these are one two three four five six fruits what we normally do we discourage after you plant, transplant within four months between one to two to nine months after plant, uh, transplanting you're not supposed to allow any fruit to come out you're supposed to remove the flowers because like a plant like this one if you allow one two three four five six seven plants seven fruits to come up then this one will end up breaking so give it time for it to have some branches. Like this one, you can see, have started already branching this one and this one and this one. So let it have enough to, enough to carry the fruits. So once you transplant this plant, Wabogo apple takes nine months to start giving fruits. So after we transplant here, already you can see her flowers, but we, we don't allow this. You make sure you remove the flowers. So let it up to nine months. That plant will be big. And uh, as, as you go to the farm, you see some plants which are nine months, one year, already have branched well and already have some flowers and fruits. So once it's from here to the farm, it will take nine months it will start fruiting. Other will start as early as this, but discourage it for the sake of uh, the, the plant survival. The Wambugo apple is certified by the Kenya Agricultural and Livestock Research Organization, CARO. Apart from the apples, we also have strawberries in the nursery. Later, I will visit a client whom I planted strawberries for and show you how they are faring. We also have pomegranate seedlings. This is pomegranate and um, this is how the fruits are. These are the flowers. So after flowers is this fruit, and uh, you eat, uh, this is not yet, and also this one, so they are small. So this is what is ready for eating, or even this one. So now I'm going to take a fruit and show you how it is inside. So this is a fruit, pomegranate. Mm -hmm. This is how it looks inside. And I'm going to demonstrate how to eat them. You don't eat the outside uh, part, you eat the inside one. As I go. Mmm, they are sweet. Enjoy as I eat. Yes. So this is a plant. This is uh, now two years as it is. So, and has a lot of fruits. We have the seed rings here and uh, they are much available. So anytime you need the, the seedlings, we have them. Now, back to Wabogo apples. Before planting the seedlings, the soil on the roots is dipped in water 
to soften it. For the seedlings that are to be transported abroad, the roots are washed thoroughly to get rid of all the soil. And now, let me show you how to plant the seedling. So we make a hole of two feet deep, two feet length, and two feet wide. The top swell you put it aside, and the swell deep, that is like a half a foot inside. You need to throw it away because we need the top swell to use for planting, and we mix with our, with our um, manure. So you'll be able to mix after you do this hole. The, the important thing with the hole is that the more wider you make it, the more advantage the plant because the roots will be able to penetrate well. So now we are going to mix the, the soil. We are going to mix the soil. We are going to mix with the, the, with the manure and then we put up the water. You may are going to use uh, 10 liters of water. We mix well, then we do our planting. Then at the end we are going to do the mulching where you are, we are going to prevent the, the nutrients going uh, by by the sun and also the, mo the, the moisture in the plant. So we are going to do the mulching. So you bring it down inside the hole and make sure you don't cover the whole, the whole place. So this is our manure. So now we are going to mix our manure and soil. We put like one bucket of manure. Can you add up the soil? So you need to plan uh, to mix one on one so that the manure will not be alone and the soil will not be alone. You're supposed to mix well to avoid, uh, to avoid burning the plant, especially those places that we are planting without soil, anything outside the country. Now, after we are finished, mixing soil and manure, we're going to put water to be able to wet the, the soil before we plant. This is our water, it's like 10 liters. So we are going to add here. Yeah. So you have to wait a little bit for the water to settle before you plant. As you can see now the water has settled. Now we are going to do our planting. You need to, to remove the nylon very, very carefully, not to let the soil go out or the soil to pour out. Like this. So now we plant it like this. We are able to make a small hole at the center and then you plant like this. So this one is for the sake of Kenyan uh, local planting. So this is how we do it. So make sure that the soil is not out. Then this one from outside the country you make a hole the same and plant the same like this. But you make sure you hold the soil very tightly on the bureau. So now we have planted and then we now going to do the mulching. After now planting, you're going to go around. And before I do that, eh, I said we are not supposed to fill all the soil with the, the hole with the soil. So you're supposed to leave it like this, like a basin. So every time you are, you are doing the water, the water will retain there because it will look like a basin. But if you bring the soil, the water will be running away. So you're supposed to have it like that. Then you take your dry materials and cover all around like that like that and make sure you don't cover the plant so now our plant will look like that so now there's no evaporation will take place and the nutrients below the plant will not be burned by the strong strong uh, uh, sun uh, sunshine so it will be covered you'll be watering at like, every evening because now the water will not take place in daytime. So this is it, now we are planted. You now be adding water, you don't remove the, the dry materials. You be coming and adding water on top, then the water will go down. So that is now our planting.
and make sure every time you water twice in a day. In uh, those places that are not, they are not dry or in semi-arid, it's not a semi-arid place, you can be watering once in a day. That is in the evening, not in the morning, in the evening. But uh, other places which are very hot, you'd pour in the morning and in the evening. In the morning meaning that is around 6, 6 a.m. and then around 5 a.m. every day, every day. This will be, go, we will be watering like uh, two weeks, no not two weeks, two months, morning, evening, morning, evening. But when you find that it's raining, you're not supposed to add any water. After two months, this nylon here, you need to cut it uh, or remove it like this. This one is now, after that is two months. You remove it slowly, like this one is already healed. Now I'm, I'm assuming it's now two months, after two months after you plant. So you are... You're supposed to remove it slowly so you don't interfere with the you don't interfere as you as you can see. You're supposed to remove it remove it after after two months after you have planted. Because if you don't do it, it will cut into two. So make sure you, you remove it at a, 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 a two months. Then after that, to because it will have already healed, so that is it. And then you leave it like that. <coughs> Meet my father, Mr. Peter Wambogo, the man behind Wambogo apples, as he tells you more and show you how to plant another type of seedling available in our nursery peaches. Peter Wambogo, I'm a Wambogo apple. Na ito na mna yo kwa jiri dini nilikuwa na ansa maneno ya ipo nikiwa nyeri pia tukatoka nyeri sasa tuko na kipia upade ya makutano mahali ya IDP wana, wa, walikuwa napewa machamba ndio tu tuko karibu na hawa tukaondelea sasa tu tuwe tukianza kupada miti tuwe tukisaidia watu kwa jiri sisi ni watu wa mugu Nataka mtu akipewa akipewa kipawa asaidie wengine. Sasa hii inaitwa peaches. Kutoka kwa ipo kuliingia kwa kwa peaches. Kuna ingine inaitwa peaches. Sasa tunaisaidia watu naye. Hii muti eh unasaa matunda masuri na ukichaa pada ikiwa namna hii ukipada kamuti kama haka Eh, ukipanda ina sana miezi tisa na inatoa matuta ishirini kutoka ishirini na miezi tisa ikiendelea iwe na miaka bili ina saa matuta arobaine ama eite muti moja kama hii na, na chika na mkono wa light unatoka elfu, elfu moja elfu, elfu kumi ya ipo ni elfu moja na ya pichiri ni elfu kumi wajiri ukipada hii muti utakusaidia ukichaa pada hii anse na mesi tisa hiyo muti yedere ikiwa inasaa mwaka moja mala moja sasa ikivikicha kama futi nane unafunda hiyo matuda gunia bili na gunia moja tunasema nyerufu nyerufu mia moja na tamanini sasa ukiesabu na gunia bili ni karibu karibu elfu, elfu Evu kapi, na nerea ni evu kama miaine. Ukicha eda kwa chimo, chimo ni 2 by 2. Loud 2 na deep 2. Fiti bili kwa bili. Sasa ukianza, unaweka mchaga, iyo bolea, naweka bolea. Na maji, iwe matope. Sasa ukianza kupada, utapada na mna hii, utubukize hii muti kwa maji maji yenyewe ili hii karatasi itoke msuri utoe hii karatasi ile vile vile na endelea kutoa ukichotoa namna hiyo eh uchuge hizi eh, mchaga hizi hizi alibike sasa utavute mahali ya kuweka hivi hii kwa chimo 2 by 2 haya napada sasa inabadilika namna hiyo ukaweka namna hiyo 
ukavinya mchaga yako ili ili ile mchaga iko na mti na mchaga iko ndani ya shimo iwe pamoja sasa ukuje uweke hii hii majani inakauka ile majani inakauka uweke kado uweke namna hiyo kwa ajili ya kusuia jua izikunywe maji ya ya muti ya muti haya ukaekelea ingine maji namna hii ukiweka ukiweka namna hiyo utaweka debe moja lita ishirini ya hiyo ya hiyo chimo sasa baadaye uwe ukiweka maji wiki mara mbili made friday made friday uweke mezi tatu muti yako inaonekana na chika kuendelea hivyo ni kupenda kwako kwa kupea maji baadaye lakini kwangu lazima uweke maji mara mbili kwa wiki uendelee hivyo baka muti we, we urefu ikiwa mrefu itagojea ma, pengine mvua yenyewe kama miti ingine itasaa na mesitiza hii muti ikiwa urefu wa viti tatu namna hii iwe ikitoa matuda hiyo matuda utakuwa ukiwa unavuna utavuta utavuna matuda ishirini na kilo moja yenyewe ni elufu mbili ukichaa pima hii tuda hii muti na ingine kutoka kwa ingine na ingine ni futi futi nane futi nane na nusu ama tisa kwa tisa chaba yote uondelee chaba ikali moja inashukua miti mia sita na kumi uendelee kupea ma kupea ma, maji na bolea sasa miaka yote uwe ukifanya hivyo sasa ukichaa endelea namna hiyo uanze kuvuna uniitiche na bayangu na bayangu ya wabogo ipo uniitiche ni kuonyeshe ma, mahali ya kupeleka usitabike ni soko soko yenyewe ni open ule mununuzi ananunua na elubiri na ananunu unamuuzia na elubiri lakini yenyewe anatausa na na, na elubiri na 500 kuendelea na mwenye hiyo This is now the Wambogo apple farm. It is 3 acres and has approximately 1500 apple trees. It has been a long journey as my father narrates. Nilikuwa nikipada kahawa. Kahawa ikaleta chida. Kwa ajili kahawa tulikuwa tukivuna kahawa. Kahawa ikaleta chida nikangoa. Nikaondoka kwa kahawa. Sasa ni wakati nilikuwa nikipada tree tomato na passion. E, nilikuwa nikivuna gunia mbili ya tree tomato. Sasa niki, nikiendelea kupeleka kwa soko na nyuki. Wakati nilikuwa na, na hiyo matuda, kuna kijana alinikuta nikitabika na matuda hiyo ya ya tree tomato na passion. Aliniambia nikapewa order huko Mount Kenya Safari Club. Wakati nilienda nikapewa order hiyo oda nilizungucha baka nikawa ninaingilia epo mahali e, maneno inaitwa epo kwa ajili nilikuwa nikinunua epo ya South Africa ile watu wananunua digi 35 ni kapeleka niku, ilikuwa ikipikwa ni watu wa, wa mikawa huko Mount Kenya Safari Club wakati niliendelea nikaambiwa ni hiyo ni chef ni ede ni odoka kwa kununua ya hiyo ya South Africa nikajivanyie yangu ili kwa ajili hiyo iko na dawa hiyo za Afrika wazugu wakakataa lakini wakati nilienda kwa watu nikaonelea watu wako na, na miti mingi kama ya arobaine ile nilikuta kwa msitu niliambiwa nikatafuta ipo kwa kama hii ilikuwa kubwa kama hii huko kwa msitu lakini ilikuwa ya wale wase walikuwa wanapigania uhuru anaitwa maumau lakini nilikuta huko kwa ajili walikuwa na naodoa kwa kwa, kwa mzugu wa chadi yake wakapeleka kwa msitu haya nikatoa hiyo miche nikapeleka kwa gunyubani nikaanza kugrafti ama ku, ku, kufanya kazi yake ikatoka tunda nzuri kama kubwa kama hii ilikuwa kuota kilo wakati nilirudi huko na nyuki setrasona sawestor nilipewa oda 
ni nikakutwa ni msugu moja akania bia wabogo wewe unaitwa wabogo ndio sasa tu da hii ulitoa wapi hili utulete nikaambia yule msugu setra uko na nyuki nikamwambia hii matunda ni mimi nilifanya research yenyewe nikafanya bd baka nikafanya grafting kama hii miti kama hii na usa elfu moja kamuti kama sasa ukichaa pada wewe mwenyewe nikikuhusia elfu moja sasa ukienda kuko kufanyia kazi upade hii itakutolea matunda kama hii unaona hii katunda kako kwa kwa na futi tatu na nusu si unaona matunda mengi hivi na kana hii iko size hii iko na na masawa mawili sasa ikienda kuwa na masawa ya ine ya tano hivi utakuwa ukivuna maelfu ya pesa uachane na kahawa uachane na majani hiyo ni kazi ya usirifu ama ngombe We ukiondelea kupada hii uni, uni, utu, utuulize miti na watoto wangu kama huyu huyu ni mtoto wangu ukiwauliza miti ama uniulize miti tukusie kama hii elfu moja Elfu moja ni kama kupatia mtu. Wajiri sasa hata ukihesabu hii matuda iko na kama elfu moja na kitu ama elfu mbili. Unajilipa kamuti kale unauza elfu moja. Kuendelea hivi, iwe inapanuka hivi ama iwe futi tano ama futi sita. utakuwa ukivuna elfu elfu tano elfu kumi hivi. This foot is very big, as you can see, it's almost full my hand. So I was trying to measure the, the, how many feet from uh, the, 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 the fruit. It's almost uh, half a foot of the, this fr fruit. So now this is a wamboko fr uh, plant. This is almost my height. It is one year now. This is one year and uh, like uh, one month or two months since it was planted here. And you can see how many fruits it has. So at, at the end of nine months, this fruit should give you 50 fruits. And now the spacing also matters because this tree will go bigger and also it may go wide. So you, 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 you give a spacing of eight feet or three meters from one tree to the other or from one uh, plant to the other. So that even if it will give you some uh, big, to take a circumference, it will not, uh, it will not look like a forest. So then at this plant, eh, you can see these ones are ready for harvest. Then there's another, another stage here, these ones. These are almost, these are now another stage. And then we have flowers, like here we have flowers and uh, some fru uh, also fruits coming up. So this one plant have uh, its continuous plant giving you fruits, should be continuous. As soon as we are through with this one, the others are coming up. With Wambogo apple, we have a taller tree and we also we have dwarf. Dwarf plant is, uh, it won't go very high, maybe like um, five feet, but this one, they were, these were above for the other, the other taller one, can even go for 40 feet up, but it still give you the fruit. And even the dwarf, it's only that it cannot go so high, but it can also, the, the same uh, yield is the same. So there's no, no, no worry that you have the, 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 the dwarf and the taller one, so all of them will do well. So as you can see, this one is very red. And uh, the, I, I'm, 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 uh, I'm going to eat. It's very yummy. I wish you can have one. But Susan, since there are other coming up, eh, it's very yummy, very crunchy as you have it. It's very sweet. For those people who want to do wine, you can do with this one. So as I eat, as I enjoy this. So every time you visit Kenya, or you visit uh, Nyeri or Laikipia, this is Laikipia County, you come and have fruit at our farm. One of my many happy clients from Nigeria gives me a call while we are in the farm to inquire if I can deliver seedlings. We have a little chat. Yes. So don't worry, I'm, I'm doing it. Do you like, can you, how many do you want 
Speaking of clients, let's now visit one of our local clients. Rongai, located in Kajiado County, is a semi-arid area that lies 1,731 meters above sea level. We head to Nkoroi Estate in Rongai to visit Mrs. Agnes Omingo's farm. I find her at the farm and she takes me around. She has planted a hundred Wambogo apple seedlings and we wanted to see how they are faring on. Her farm, though in a semi-arid area, looks green as she has invested in a borehole and water storages that facilitate watering her entire farm. I first come across these beautiful looking grapes that I had planted for her in April 2018. Indeed, they are doing great. She's also growing purples, strawberries, among other crops. The apples are doing well. We pruned several apple trees. This helps to enable the other good branches to feed well in order to produce apples of high quality and quantity. This is Mrs. Omingo's story on Wambogo apples. These are the Wambogo apples. I planted them in 2017 July. I have got about 100 trees and uh, they started uh, flowering and uh, fruiting last year in April. Uh, I got uh, quite a number of fruits but there were not very many. Uh, but this time there were quite a number. I think I harvested about uh, half a ton and uh, they, still you can see they are fruiting. They are small fruits and they are flowering. It's as if it's a continuous uh, uh, fruiting uh, tree. They have planted on a quarter an acre and they are doing very well. Rongai is a, a, a semi-arid area, but I, I use a lot of uh, manure and uh, drips. That's why the, the plant looks very healthy. So I, these fruits can work anywhere, they can do anywhere. That was one of our farmers that we planted a one year one year and uh, maybe six months now, and she has harvested two times. So what I want to say is that for her, I also did uh, strawberries. You can intercrop with strawberries, which can also act very well as a moshing and also to cover the ground well. So apples, you can intercrop with any other crops. It's only maize that you cannot be able to intercrop because the pollination is poisonous to the apples. Like these ones, they are very healthy because whatever it is intercro intercropped with is something on the ground. Thank you very much. I would insist on you do Wambogo because it's a semi-arid uh, apple because uh, it can do well in semi-arid areas. You can plant any time of the month, any time of the year. You don't have to wait for rains to plant the, the apples. But in the, the key thing is you must have uh, water that is for irrigation. Like for her, she has done the drip irrigation. That is her style. If you don't make it like this, you have to be watering every evening and uh, since in the morning you have to do it. So intercrop and also if you are able to do the drips, it's also very good. And um, this one will do. doesn't matter the area, doesn't matter the soil, doesn't matter the climate, it will do well. So that doubt that Wabugu Apple do well in the uh, wet areas, it's no. Because this one, as you can see, this is Kajiado, very, very arid, very semi-arid, but the apple is doing well. So that is it. I would say that do a bogo. You never regret. Thank you for taking this journey with me. If you need to try wambogo apples in your farm, kindly call plus 254-722-284-176. You can never go wrong with wambogo apple.